So, you were supposed to get a lovely video about um, about pros and cons of uh, pandemic life. Ducky's howling because he knows what's coming. I looked really cute. Here's evidence. And um, the thing is, when I went to go edit the video, it all looked like this. It's all out of focus. Not a single frame usable. So we're gonna do a totally different video today. You don't get to see my wet hair repeat outfit life. No, you don't get to see that. I'm gonna paint my nails and we are gonna chat and you're gonna look at my nails and not me. <laughs> Cause I'm bitter, okay, bye. <laughs> okay, here are my nails and my tools and my colors. We're gonna do different shades of purple. I don't know which one I like better, but one of them is gonna be for the statement now. One of them is just going to be the color, so we'll see how this goes. Do you like my owl? It's my favorite type of placemat. Got it at Walmart. I think, I guess I've decided since I opened this one that I'm going to do this as my base color. Whoops. I can't let one video ruin my life, right? One failed video. We're just going to have to keep going. Just like one failed nail isn't going to ruin my life. <sighs> That's a lesson. Get there, kids. Things will keep going. One thing that I miss is I miss being able to just hang out with my friends without the burden of, uh, you know, I could give you a respiratory disease that could kill you. <laughs> of course, I social distance and wear masks. And if my friends and I meet, which has only happened Maybe one time during this pandemic. Maybe two times. Um, we follow all of the protocol, but isn't that sad though? One to two times is all I've actually met with my friends. I feel like that's sad. Makes me a little sad. Same with family. I don't think I've met with family outside of my immediate family at all, really. Maybe once. As much as we're able to connect via Zoom and other types, the in-person connection is um, definitely missing. I like, though, that if I just want to cancel plans that I do make, I can, and no one judges me for it. <laughs> that is the one good thing that's come out of this pandemic. You're like, mm, you know, I have a headache, and people are like, stay away, pariah. <laughs> And I'm like, yes, you've fallen into my trap. I'm definitely an introverted extrovert. So I do love people and I love making plans, but I am equally delighted to cancel them. I really like these colors. Ooh, they're basically the same color. One's just shimmery and one's not. And I'm mad at this. While they're drying, we will we'll chat. Oh shoot, oh shoot. That one is two. Okay, I fix it. Okay, so we're just gonna let these hang for a second and we'll continue the chat. Uh, dating was a thing that I highlighted in the video that you'll never see because I am a single Pringle and I just feel like if you didn't have someone before this pandemic started, it's too late now. How are you supposed to find someone? You can do the dating apps, but like, it's weird to meet people in person. I've had maybe two, no, I've had a total of three in-person dates for the entire, you know, year. I don't really date. I'm an awkward person. Hashtag not your average oddity. But <laughs> when I have tried, um, it's just, it's, it's awkward because you don't know how acceptable someone is with their pandemic protocol until you get there. Like, do, do you hug? Do you not hug? Do you, like, go to eat somewhere and take the masks off? Like, what do you do? I don't know. I was never good at dating in the first place, and now you have to throw in a global pandemic, and what am I- how am I supposed to know <laughs> what to do here? I- I'm just- I'm gonna be a single Pringle forever. Me and my cats. No, I doubt that, but it feels like it sometimes. Now I'm just listening to cats whine because I didn't- fill up their food bowl before I started doing this video. So that's a thing. So you probably heard that Ducky was eating for a hot second. You see a lot of Ducky because he's extremely attention seeking. 
You seem much less of Casey because she's my quiet little princess. She doesn't really care about the rest of the world. She really only cares about me. And, you know, I like that I have one cat who likes everyone and one cat who just solely likes me. Because it brings me joy to see that she's happy without without me having to do a lot. Like, it's nice when someone just enjoys your company. Because that's something that people sometimes take for granted. It's also nice that I can shake a treat dish and then Ducky instantly becomes my best friend. I'm not gonna lie. I like that I get both from both of them. Get a little bit of everything that I need. They're really good models of unconditional love and that is something that I think everyone needs in their life. Unconditional love. If there's a condition, I don't think it's love. Then it's just utility, you know? Someone should love you just because it's you, you know? Your, pure, your, your existence in their life should be enough. Maybe I'm not the right person to be taking dating advice from, considering I've been on a total of three dates in my life, but do with that information what you will. I'm thinking I'm going to put a flower on or something on my little statement nail, this one. But I haven't quite decided. Alright, what should I do? Or I could just leave them like this. I mean, I'm gonna only get your feedback after the fact. Oh no, I'm trying to ruin this nail. Um, this pinky. <laughs> or maybe I'll do, ooh, okay. I, ha I had a thought. I'm gonna do like a French tip deal. Except really badly because I don't have tape or anything. I'm just gonna wing it. I'm just gonna wing it. Winging it. Ugh. It's subtle. It's super subtle. No one may notice but me. And that's okay. I'm not painting my nails for anyone but me. Well, technically speaking, I'm painting them for you as well because you're watching this, but that wasn't the point of me painting my nails right now. I just wanted to do something that made me feel good, made me feel pretty, brought joy, spark, sparking joy in your life is something, something you have to take into your own hands, and it's a skill that will serve you well. The one good thing about single life is if you can learn to spark joy for yourself. If you can be happy alone, if you can find happiness alone, that means that you can find all the more happiness with someone else. But that doesn't mean you have to have them in your life to be happy. And that's important. You shouldn't put all of your happiness in one basket. You know what I mean? You shouldn't go into a relationship thinking this person is going to be my source of happiness and if they're not then they're not the one for me. That's like that is un unhealthy um oops, there we go. You know, that's an unhealthy expectation to put on a relationship. Man, I'm getting really wise, I think. I don't know where I've gotten this wisdom from. I don't know who imparted it on me. I don't know where I learned it, but apparently it's a thing that I have. So, um, my nails are done. I mean, I'm gonna clean them up so they don't, the edges aren't covered, but for the most part, I, I like them. They're purple. They match my hair. So, I hope that you like this video, and I hope that you stick around for more. Okay, bye! <laughs>